Okay, so let's go quickly through the camera specs. The sensor on this camera is a 1 2 3rd CMOS sensor and effectively it has 12 megapixels on it. Control the cam. Oh man, should I get it? Guess I'll just have to call the man himself. Hopefully he is available. Yo, Kip, what's going on? Hope you're doing good. Yo, Ken, how's it going? I hope everything is doing well with you. Um, we're pretty much stuck here in KL. We've got a lockdown right now here in Malaysia. But other than that, things are pretty good. I hope you're doing well too, man. Good, good, good. I'm doing great too. Thanks for asking. Um, hey, so I'm actually wondering about your FPV drone video and I was always wanting to get an FPV and I didn't know if I should go the traditional route or, you know, get the DJI one that you just reviewed. And you had yours for quite a bit now and I was just wondering if I can ask you some quick questions to hopefully make my decision on it because I have the Mavic 2 right now. So yeah, I just want to hit you up with some questions if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Ask me anything. All right, so the first question I actually had for you was is the price justifiable for what you get? Because I saw in your video, you get your controller, your goggles, and the drone itself. It seems like it comes with a lot, so with the 1000 plus price tag on it, does that justify what you get for it? Well, for me, I think for what it is, the price is definitely justifiable, considering that you literally do get a whole package and you're pretty much good to go straight out of the box. I mean like the fact that there is no more guesswork with what you can and can't use with a drone because with the non-DJI FPV drones you have to bear in mind you still would need to match the right remote controller with the right receiver in the drone and the right video transmitter with the right goggles for it and to be really honest with you that can kind of be a bit overwhelming especially if you're a newbie like me and also I have to admit even though the price may be justifiable I do find find that the thing that definitely does you know put me off about this drone is the fact that repairs are not going to be cheap if you crash this drone you're literally having to send it back to DJI but that being said on the plus side it does have many useful features like self hovering obstacle avoidance and also emergency air brake which makes it definitely a good intermediate drone to get before you go full on in FPV so yeah that's my personal opinion I guess all right cool I have another question for you actually so I'm just wondering, I saw some props showing in some of your videos as well as other people's videos when I watched their footage of their FPV drone and those propellers are just showing a little bit. I was just wondering, do you happen to have any way of taking them out in post and what do you think of them, of showing there? Like, do you keep them in? Like, is there any way around it possibly? So yeah, that's another question I was wondering. Oh yeah, the props, they do appear in the video. However, when you turn on the image stabilization on the drone, the props will be cropped out and the image will also be stabilized too. However, there's something that's worth noting is that the image stabilization it doesn't really cover the goggles at all so you'll always see the props in the goggle view but don't worry about that because the final image you're not going to see the props appearing in the final video so yeah because if the props did sort of like disappear in the goggles it would mean that there will be a lot of processing and there will be a lag in the video feed in your goggles and that wouldn't be a good thing because you're most probably going to be crashing the drone because there's too long of a processing time for you to see things in real time so yeah it's good thing I guess okay that's pretty good to know at least there is some type of like way around it or you know if you want to keep them and you keep them in so that's pretty good good to know um, I was also wondering if I should sell my Mavic Air 2 to get the FPV just because it does have that regular flight mode and I can always like switch to FPV full manual if I was to fly it so it seems like an all-in-one type of drone but should I be selling a just a traditional drone just to get the FPV so I have that kind of flexibility? Well, I'm glad you asked that because after getting my FPV drone, I realized that the FPV drone does do certain things that the conventional DJI drone can't and vice versa. So if you are really looking for controlled cinematic shots with nice, slow, um, stabilized footage, then, you know, for me, that is where the Mavic does come in. But if you want nice, immersive, fast sweeping kind of cinematic shots that don't really have stabilized horizons, then the DJI FPV drone will definitely suit you better. However, in my opinion, I think it's best to actually keep both of your drones if you are able to, because that's what I did. Because there are certain times when I do want those really smooth, slow cinematic shots. So I still have my Mavic 2 Pro. But when I want those immersive, fast, you know, sweeping shots, 
then I can use my DJI FPV drone. So it does complement each other. But something that's also worth noting too is that with the DJI FPV drone, you don't have a camera, um, your, your camera can't tilt all the way downwards. So you're definitely gonna have to keep your Mavic or whatever drone that you use that can tilt the camera all the way downwards if you still want to do top-down shots that is really bang on top down so that's something that's really worth noting because with the DJI FPV drone it can only sort of um, you know look downwards up to a certain degrees but it can't go 90 degrees really looking downwards so that's yeah that's something worth noting too okay gotcha gotcha so okay it gives me a lot to think about but yeah I think you know there might be a chance I might just get the FPV drone like an addition to what I have, so that might be an option. Um, but one final question I have for you is, do you think this type of FPV drone that DJI is releasing, which is more consumer friendly, you know, it's user friendly and everything, has all those safety features. So is that something that's gonna replace traditional FPVs or is that gonna be something that is, you know, gonna be side by side and work together with traditional FPV so you have an option? Great question. I think DJI has really tapped into a market that was untapped in the FPV world before this, in my opinion. However, I don't think it is for everyone, especially for those hardcore <laughs> FPV pilots out there who really want to be in control of everything they do from flying to repairs. But it is definitely something that is great that DJI actually made. You know, uh, I think it definitely filled up a gap in the market. and I love the fact that there is an emergency brake button. For me, if every single FPV drone maker were to introduce this emergency brake button, it would definitely change the whole landscape of the FPV world. So yeah, I really wish and I hope at some point in the near future, all FPV drones out there would have this some sort of emergency button that can actually make the drone hover whenever you're, you're flying and you get into trouble. That would definitely change the whole landscape of this whole FPV drone hobby. But yeah, yeah that would be so great if they did do that. Yeah, for sure. Hey man, thank you for taking your time to at least answer some of my questions because I've been wondering for so long that if I should get it and I wanted to contact you because I know that you have got one and you had one for a little bit and you've tested it out. So it's great coming from a person that actually has it and that used it. And hopefully I'll probably add it to my line of drones, who knows, but yeah. Anyways, I gotta go film. Thank you for answering my questions again and I'll talk to you later. Uh, text me whenever, okay? All right, talk to you later, bye. Right, no worries, man. Got any other questions about drones or anything like that, please feel free to give me a buzz. Right, Ken, take care.